Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Jenkins. Thanks for tuning in. I want to provide one communication tip to transform your digital communications. Did you know, 90% of the time people think their emails and texts are un understood by recipients. Yet, 50% of emails and texts are misunderstood. That's a big gap. So what do we learn from this? Well, we aren't communicating as well as we think, unfortunately. And this is especially true when more and more of us are remote working. So what are we to do? Well, let me offer uh, some helpful advice, but first let me give you some additional context. Let's talk a little bit more about the communication gap and the clear and how to be clear in our emotional intent. Now, if you were to receive this text message, how would you interpret this? Now, if I'm doing this live with a large group of people or live on a, a virtual event, I usually get responses on two camps. There's one side that will say, oh, I take it for face value. It's, it's a nice job, it's a compliment. Then there's the other side that says, no, this feels more sarcastic. And it's really fascinating. And actually, the research backs this up because 60% of the time, two word messages are interpreted as sarcastic. That's pretty extraordinary. So if you were to send a two word text message like this, nice job, you might get a response back from the recipient saying, thanks. Now, even that can be misunderstood, right? That could be thanks, or that could be thanks. There's not a lot of a clear emotional intent there. So we can misinterpret this. And this can cause lots of tension as we're communicating, especially uh, digitally. And so what's happening here is actually humans have a tendency to assume the worst when the intent of the communication isn't clear. You and I have both experienced this. Now, how do we actually make this two word text message more clear and make the emotional intent clear, simply add an emoji. Now there's no way to misinterpret that two word text message, simple emoji. Now what's really fascinating about emojis is there's a huge generational gap as it, as it relates to using emojis in our communications. Because only 17% of the emerging generations actually consider emojis unprofessional. So there's a massive gap. So especially if you're communicating digitally and you're trying to connect with the emerging generations, we should really be considering using more emojis, not only to, to communicate clear emotional intent, but also to really connect with that generation. So if you were to send these two words and use an emoji, you might get back thanks with that emoji. Now, adding two emojis, there's zero misunderstanding of the emotional intent of these two messages. And what's also really fascinating about this, especially again, thinking through the lens of digital communications as more and more of us are remote working, is that the same part of the brain that processes human faces also processes emojis. So the same part of your brain that lights up when you're um, in person with someone and they say, thanks, wow, right, great job. The same part of your brain lights up when you see that facial expression, the same part of your brain lights up when you, when you see um, the same emotions conveyed via emoji, incredible. So yes, I'm gonna urge you to start using more emojis, but now come on, let's not get carried away here and don't, abuse this and use more and more emojis and then you feel confident and then you're start, going to start using gifs uh, or gifs or gifs however you interpret that and if you keep using that or perhaps overstep your boundaries you might seem out of touch and you might um, come across as steve buscemi who's trying to portray himself as a high school student any fans of park and Rex, you know what this gif is all about so what's the action item here? How do we close the communication gap? So how do you overcome negative biases, hijacking the intended meanings of your communications and ensure your messages aren't misunderstood 50% of the time? Well, as we just unpacked, use emojis. Use emojis. And or use more descriptive words to clarify the emotional intent of your message. Because if we're not face-to-face -face communicating, a lot can be left up to the imagination. And again, if we're um, if there's a gap, as humans, we're going to assume the worst. We've got to be more descriptive in our communications, especially as we're more and more of us are working remotely. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or if you want to learn more about bringing content like this uh, to your event or to your organization, send me an email. You can email at ryan at ryan-jenkins.com. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thank you.